Devastating news out of the Tyrell Corporation today as they announced the passing of renowned engineer Dr. Kano Nakayama. Nakayama, who previously spearheaded several flagship Tyrell projects, passed peacefully in his sleep at the age of 43. This is yet another substantial blow to the Tyrell Corporation so soon after the recently passed Replicant Prohibition Act. It has only been three years since the brutal murder of former CEO Eldon Tyrell. Tonight, a shocking discovery has rocked the sector as... Hello, Skiff. I know I said we wouldn't hear from each other unless there was a very good reason. I think this is a pretty good one. Every single one of us has made a choice. Every single one of us has paid a price. What price did you pay? You've abandoned your post in favor of your personal desires, chasing the ghost of a girl that wasn't really a girl to begin with. For empty promises made by a charlatan, a woman who has thrown in her lot with terrorists. You abandoned your entire life for an echo. I don't understand that. But I respect it. I surrendered everything in favor of my ideals. I killed the one thing I loved because ultimately what I love doesn't matter. What matters is what I believe. And I believe in fighting against the theft of humanity, of stolen dreams, stolen memories. You likely don't understand that, but I, I hope you respect it. All of us had to pay a price. This is gonna be yours. And I'm, I'm sorry, Skiff, because I tried, I really tried to help her. I was willing to turn a blind eye to her mistakes, let her take the opportunity to run, or just to get her house in order. But she made her choice, Skiff. For what it's worth, I made it quick. I hope whatever you find is worth the price. When I find you, I'm gonna tear your fucking heart out! job to do. Focus on the job. <sighs> get in. Get the files. Get out. Then worry about everything else.
I look up. Tyrell building is in front of me. Take a breath. Take a minute to go over what needs to be done in my head. Get ready to enter. All right. RJ. <clears throat> I don't know how reliable these blueprints you had are going to be. But, uh... Gonna lean heavily on you. Mm. And I'm assuming you can deal with that. Right? I'll deal with what I have to. Yeah. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna hold your slack. You're not... You follow... to get this done. You fall behind. You fall behind. I won't fall behind. Neither will Galen. If you insist. Oh, I do. I do. But I'll be honest. I, I know what I'm looking for. At least I know what I want to find. Whatever you found. Whenever you were in. Wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. I went in. I got information. I lost good people that day. What is it that you're looking for? That's any better? I don't know. You don't know? No. Did you? <laughs> I had an idea. Well, that's where I'm at. I want the truth. I want to know if it's deeper than us. I want to know why. I don't think I'm going to get most of that. And maybe that's okay, but uh, you know. If you were any other person, <laughs> I'd think you a fool. That's good. Because that's how I feel. At the very least, you're going to trust yourself, right? <laughs> Don't say that. I think I'm watching him as I talk. I'm... Picking up on, well, everything about this, this Bob, the way he stands, the way he holds himself. Obviously, we've lived similar, if different lives. We've taken on different injuries over the course of being here on the force, being active, being present. But I'm trying to see how much of myself is in him. In the way he stands, maybe the way he leans on the wall, favors a leg. Blinks. I think that, um... I think as you 
are watching Bob. He is not looking at you. I think that we all know that we're supposed to be inconspicuous here, but he's still standing pretty erect, shoulders back, still looking around, curious. I think you would understand that there's a level of nervousness in him that you probably felt before in this situation. But I think you would notice a difference between you and me. I think there's a tone that I have that isn't even a little bit jovial, comedic. Even if I smile a little bit, it looks strained and forced. If there's anything, I think you would see that I'm missing something that you have. And I don't know if you know what that is, but it's there. Or it's not there. I think this gives me pause. I think after this revelation, if we want to call it that, I've spent an equal amount of time hiding from mirrors as well as just staring in it, trying to understand myself, and before me is a a mirror of a different kind. And I see those vacancies, and I feel as if they give me comfort. However, I see the similarities, and I think I hate him all the more for it. That hate, it's mutual. I know. You doing okay, Galen? I suppose it depends on what you mean by okay. Honestly, I was just expecting a no. Look, Bob. I'm here to support you. If this is what you feel like you need to do, then let's do it. I'd be one way. You could say that about anything that we do. It's fair. Is there a lower percentage chance of us getting out? Yeah, probably. Hopefully... RJ here has some kind of a plan. <laughs> ah, that's rich. Hopefully I have a plan. Did you two not have any idea what you were doing up until this point? I just happened to be here. Yeah, but you've been through this. You've seen what we've not. You can react a little faster than we can, because at least you have an idea. (laughs) Don't need you to have too much of a plan. And I, again, I'm not putting shit on top of you. I'm not. We can hold our own. I just want to get in, get to the space, see if there's anything we can find, and get out. I just... I, I don't know how to move forward without doing that. I think my expression... drops. Whatever light smile or tightens in my face is... lax. I turn from Bob, I look to his partner, and I approach him, I walk step, step, step. A gate with no personality. And I look at him. Can I tell he... what he is? Who he is? You... I don't know if you've seen me before. But when you look at me... 
I think you can see a man who has lost everything. And there wasn't a lot there to begin with. I'm gonna rip your fucking heart out! Did you hear that? I did. I, I reach into my jacket and I'm holding onto my gun. We'll save the interrogation for next time. If there is a next time. Into Money. the shadows, maybe? Yeah. Alright. I... I push into the shadows and get low. Can you see what that is? Patrolling guard, maybe? A guard? No. I don't think so. Look how he's dressed. Just some random right, nut on the street, then. See me light a cigarette. With the flash of the light, I think there's enough to recognize this face. Holy shit. That's Skiff. What the fuck is he doing here? A friend of yours. Why the hell is he screaming? I don't know. I don't know what this is. Let's give him a minute. He's just smoking. If you could go. I've got this. Okay. Make sure he doesn't do any more screaming. All right. going to uh, slowly meander uh, in a drunken looking fashion towards Skiff uh, heads a bit bowed and I'm just kind of taking a zigzag like pattern like I can't really walk a straight line and I'll uh, I'll just sort of uh, tap you on the shoulder excuse me sir D do, you, do you have any any chin yen? I, I'm just trying to just trying to feed my family. Caitlin? Yeah, follow me. Pretend like you're giving me some chin yen. Yeah, I got some some change spared from dinner here so please can 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 you can you uh, can you help my daughter she's 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 sick can, yeah, can you me, can you please can you just take a look at her let me give you a ride thank you thank you you're so kind and i walk over with him just around the corner here in the alley Well, hail, hail. Gang's all here. Skiff. This is, uh... This is RJ. This is, uh... Robert Wyndham. They killed her, Bob. They killed who? They killed Natalie. He did. What? Sawyer. He killed Natalie and sent me a video to gloat about it. They're trying to get you to react, to do something stupid. Almost working. Why are you but here? I have a job to do. What are you doing here? Trying to get answers. Because, Me too. uh. I think, uh, spend a little time talking about what we're going for. 
I just yeah, ran into RJ here and uh I'm sorry, who are you? I believe he called me RJ here. He's he's me. I think Skip. you see me grimace at the mention of that. He's me. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna ask too many questions. Just need to know one thing. Galen, feel free to chime in as well. Do we trust him? I mean, no, I don't trust him at all, but he has the right knowledge, he has the right information. He is in my memory. He is my Sam, and I can trust that. I can trust that this, this building, these people, They've been fucking around for their own purposes. I kind of need to know why. I got I'm nothing sorry. else. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me. Let me just. I'm sorry. My brain is a fog. Uh, a lot of information at the moment. Say that again, Bob. W- what is he to you? I'm a replicant. So is he. We're the same set of memories, at least mostly, from what I can tell. Some things are changed, but most of it's the same. He didn't know either, until he did. Like me. I don't know how long they've been doing this. How they, how long they've been running whatever fucking experiment, experiment this is, but... I'm putting this together. I think that's what I'm here for. Wait. We talked about the job, and Nara was very vague about what we were going to take. But I can just about fucking guarantee you it's something to do with you or others like you. It's the only thing that makes sense. Uh, That's something that would bring Tyrell to the fucking ground. Well, there's gotta be... That information got out that they were infiltrating the LAPD. That's it. So this job just became much more important and a hell of a lot more dangerous. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't give a shit about any of that right now. I just need to know. I need to know how long they've been doing this. I need to know how many of me have there been. Just what the fuck are they doing? There's only one you, Bob. I Thanks. I immediately look over at RJ. I think I take the remark mockingly and say thanks. There's Good only God. one RJ, and there's only one Bob. Well, not to lighten the mood or anything, but I feel like I picked the right side. Even more now. (laughs) And I just put a big sloppy hug on Bob, whether he likes it or not. I'll um, do that awkward hand pat on your back. Yeah. The right side. Well, for what it's worth, I'm glad you're here. Galen. Thank you. RJ. 
What are we waiting for? Is this it? You three? Or enough. I think I know you well enough. I turn to Skiff. I look him up and down. And then, with my left leg, I step to the right past him. As I do, I turn around using my right elbow, and I swing as if to hit him in the temple, as fast as I can, stopping dead short to see if he reacts. You are doing this to whom? Sorry. Not to you anymore. To, to Skiff? Yes. I, I, I would say that during all of this, as he starts to move, probably for the first time, I track the speed and I go to put my hand out, but I don't think I stop you. This would have I been think- a surprise. The look on my face doesn't tell you that, like, like I'm trying to be cool or stoic or anything like that. My face says, you could have hit me and taken my head off right now, and I wouldn't care. So your reaction is to not react? I don't know what the point of this little exercise is, and I put my my one finger on your elbow, and, like, kind of, if you let me, I kind of just... Gently push it out of the way. I let you turn to Bob and go, so he's a human. All right. Who the fuck knows? That's a good question. It's a bit quicker than a VK test. I guess, but look at him. I I look over at at a skiff. You can see the anguish. This is someone who... uh, just lost something very like when we lost Chio and then I catch myself after I, I'm like I give like, him the deadest of stares like that feeling <sighs> all right small groups are It'll do just fine. However... If it makes you feel any better or eases your mind. I was sent here by Nara to do the job alone. And she thought I had a chance. So... If you're wondering about if I'm... My capabilities... I have no luxury for worry right now. I reach into my pocket. I pull out this small device. It almost looks like a lighter. Black. The red LED. I press it down twice. And as I do, I say low frequency band. And then I snap it. If anybody picks up, they'll know where to find us. should be quick. I put feelers out, but this is really short notice. Are you trying to get extra muscle? You could call it muscle. Okay. Um, what time is it right now? I mean, I'm assuming it's it's evening into night, but... That is um, such a good I'm, question. It is actually the day of the raid, but it is in the evening. So that happened during the morning they raided. Uh, then they interrogated through to the afternoon. Uh, Nat okay. took her mission from Sagan, uh, went, we don't know what happened there, and then she returned home and um, had her encounter with Sawyer. So it is now probably nine or ten at night when you are choosing to break in in the late hours. All right. <clears throat> Better give it a little bit of time. By. What's that? We have to stay close by or near enough if my contacts to find us. 
The pulse goes both ways, but I had to break the device after. And oh, we're adding another one? To this we'll group? We'll see. We'll see what we can get. But hopefully, yeah. I got him. Fair warning through, through a contact, but again, things have been quite expensive. I think after some time, there's a knock at the door. I think I hear the knock. We're in a small, uh, where we were is like an, on the street, right? But uh, we were, I want to yeah. say that uh, quite nearby, it's almost like a utility closet kind of deal. It's uh, where they root all the, uh, within this junction, this sector, kind of similar to how like in certain places they have uh, junction boxes for the internet, that kind of thing. Uh, around here in LA, they're a bit bigger because or a lot more tech dependent. This particular one is uh, was was unlocked and is maybe the size of two storage two storage containers, perhaps. Regardless, that's where we are. There's a knock on the door. I have my gun out, and I'm pointing in that direction. Come in. My gun is also at the door. Same pose. I step through the door with a kind of beleaguered smile on my face. I look a bit weathered. I look like I've kind of been through it today. But uh, I just have a big smile on my face and kind of look around and I don't recognize anybody in the room. Just noting the guns pointed my way, but I lock eyes with with RJ and say, uh, "Hello, are these new friends?" Just you. I lower my weapon. Yeah, I pull mine back. Pleasure model. If I don't miss my guess, mm. you are correct. Pleasure model and personal defense. Personal defense. Yes. I am designed to be one person's very special friend who will protect them from anything. Useful. Yeah. I like to be useful, but... RJ, I don't think anyone else is coming. There were some big problems today. No shit. All right. Well, the way I was going to get in is is for a solo person. But, uh, I mean, if you guys have a better better method, I mean, it would be kind of arduous for all of us to use the way I I was going to get in through a, uh, well, through a window. (laughs) I have a way to fool the sensors and, you know, that kind of shit, but if you guys have a, a better way, I'm all ears. I think I let him talk himself out for a bit. I don't <laughs> reply. What window? Well, and if I'm not mistaken, the Tyrell building is shaped like a pyramid, right? Yeah, it's sort of a... Yeah, right, it's sort okay. of a weird... It's 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 an uphill hike. Uh, gonna be several several stories. I was gonna be using some propelling gear to get up to that window. Pull the sensors. Trick it into opening. Get in that way. Are we going to Tyrell? Yeah. That's the plan. Oh, that's scary. What's your name? I am Blythe. 
I don't have a last name. I was never given one. But I am two years, three months, and one week old. I'm Galen. Skiff. It is nice to meet you, Galen and Skiff. I'm Bob. And Bob. Ooh. <laughs> well, you're spoiled for choice for that one special friend. Anyway, <laughs> we better get going. I look towards uh, Bob. Uh, there's always Karen. With all the shit going down right now in Tyrell, do you think she's still in there? I don't know. Well, we can hope. Okay. Where do we... <clears throat> Where are we going first? Because I want to get this shit going. Well, first things first, we gotta get into the compound. Say, uh, which window were you talking about? Building's big, many entrances. Uh, what, fl what floor was the, uh, information on? Right, I remember that, yeah. Okay. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, uh, well, yeah, I think you're right, because the, um... Oh, PB, you're muted, by the way. Sorry, I wanted to go on record saying that it was in... It's on the same floor where um, we did the ep one shot episode where the analysts were gathering that information and RJ came in and took something and shot um, some of the the employees that were working there. So it's the sa that same floor, but right. I just don't remember the, the actual floor number at well, the without, moment. Without chat, saying so, any numbers, yeah. I just I just kind of yep. uh, like pull out my KA, got the schematic and I point ingresses there. Once, once, I'm, once I was inside, I was going to uh, either take uh, uh, the stairs or something of that nature up a couple more floors, and that's the target floor, because the target floor has a lot more security, and I've got a, and a range of gadgets and so on to, for situations that might arise to get through right. those security measures and right. on that floor without, she didn't tell me much. She just said, on that floor, get all the information you can, put it on, and I pull out this like, this little like, look, it looks like a thumb drive, like put it on that, bring it back to her. And I'm guessing that's the information. She's got the, the, the hacking software is already on this thing, so. Once we're in there, I don't know what your mission was, but that was mine. I mean, it sounds like what you're trying to get is what I'm looking for. Okay. It's I'm more than what slow. RJ got before. Blythe, the time. Hmm? The time. The time? I'd say it's about, um... 10.30, somewhere around there. It is 10.30 p.m. All right. Well, soon enough, there's going to be a, a break time. I know the floor you're talking about. I've been there before. As we scale the building, if we can do it quiet enough, we might be able to get in luck. Maybe get in the window, lower, break room. See if anyone's there. With high up enough credentials, we can get even further, faster. If I can get in the way I was planning, 
I would just have to find credentials on somebody. Subdue them. And then let you in without hassle. But a lot of moving parts. Maybe we only send a few in. Maybe only some of us go in at first to try and keep us from being too noticeable. Well, if you have just me and uh I'm sorry, what was your name again? Blythe? Yes. Me and Blythe. Are you you said you were skilled in defense of one person, but can that one person be me tonight? Yes. Excellent. So, me and Blythe will go in. All right. We will subdue whomever we find, take their credentials, use them to open up the doors, let you all in the front or the back. Okay. And uh, call the elevator, get you up here, and then we go from there once we reconvene. Waste management. If you can get the credentials, it will be by waste management. It's the easiest way in if you have a key card. Okay. We'll be waiting there. Good luck. All right. Yeah. Good luck. All right, I grab my duffel with all the equipment in it. I guess you're with me. Yes. Are we going to hurt people? Only if we need to. Mm, I try not to break people if I can help it. That's a good thing for a pleasure model. So how did you get mixed up with this as we're walking to the to the target location? I used to belong to a very wealthy woman named Alessa, who I loved very much, and then she died and they blamed me for it. How did it she was die? very easy to blame me for it. It was an accident in our gym. We spent a lot of time there. I was her sparring partner. And then the Blade Runners came and they chased me for a very long time, and then one of them almost died, and I helped him, and he let me go. He changed his mind. That's a thing that humans can do. I don't think it's restricted to just humans. Hmm. Some of the new replicants are very special. It seems like they can do that. Is this the first time you're meeting Bob? Hmm. That is a complicated question. I think yes. Right. I forgot. <laughs> well, he changed his mind. Hmm? Well, he is special. He gets to live for a longer time than I do. I am halfway through my life. I am a Nexus 6. How does that feel? Knowing you have, not only knowing you have an expiration date, but knowing when it's going to be. Hmm. Everyone has an expiration date. But you know the day it's going to happen, or around there. That is very strange. I don't think about it a lot. I just try to use the time I have to help people. Like that Blade Runner helped me. Well... I don't know if you'll take this as a compliment or an insult, but that might be the most human thing I've ever heard. We're here. I pull out the, the, uh, uh 
<laughs> not to Batman it up too much, but the gas power grappling gun. <laughs> and uh, pull it out and uh, use the, it has like a, uh, like an electronic aim on it. And as soon as it pings, And I kind of try and like pull Blythe over. All right. See where the hook landed? We're going one and a half floors below that. It's right by the rope. That's our window. Do you want me to carry the heavy things? I'm good at that. If you're volunteering, absolutely. How heavy is the gear? Um, the heaviest part was the the grappling gun. The rest of it's just oh, okay. like <laughs> yeah. So like once once the the grappling gun is up there, like the, it's got like a built in like anchor, like shoots into the ground, like cool. Yeah. But the rest of the gear isn't super heavy. It's just like you know, like picture like five laptops in a bag. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Well, I effortlessly hoist whatever it is you ask me to carry with no complaint, yeah. and uh, I'm ready to go. I suppose a, a, it might be a good time to ask, do you have a weapon? Besides I am a weapon. Hands? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. And uh, we started the climb, and it's 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 not like climbing up the side of a building, right? Because it's like a, like a pyramid or a ziggurat or something like that. So it's like, you know, it's arduous, but it's not impossible. Um, and we're going up like at, what, what do you say? At least 20, 20 something floors. That is correct. So um, we got. So yeah, I. We... <laughs> yeah, you got a ways to go. Um, so I. Yeah. I mean, obviously, this building is is incredibly tall, and it's been a while. So I'll mention this again. But in this alt reality dystopian future present day, uh, buildings are five hundred stories tall. Uh, and usually, you you know, we're experiencing Blade Runner in the lower levels, usually. Um, yeah. But so they're probably heading up about 20 floors, 30 floors. Um, and when I was looking at uh, the notes, just so that we know, we do have... Um, they entered previously in on the fourth floor through the um, maintenance and um, waste control, which was great. Um, but we're going to around the 30, uh, f uh, 43rd or 44th floor, somewhere around in there uh, is where we're looking for. So they've got a way to go. Um, mm -hmm. And it's funny because uh, I, I got to give you a little, like the audience a little insight. Uh, the, someone in our Discord, we keep, you know, our chat open so we can talk to each other during the show. Oh my God. And someone put in that, put in the Batman gif, like the old TV mm. show where they're walking up the side of a building. Now mm. wait, I'm going to jump back into RP and that's why, this is why that's funny. <clears throat> <laughs> I hate to ask. Or it's, but, uh, would, yes? You seem to have an easy time carrying that bag and what... <laughs> This may sound ridiculous, but would we have a faster and better, easier time if I just, and he kind of struggles with it, like. I think I effortlessly just sort of <laughs> like <laughs> hit you, <laughs> like a, like a kind of piggyback ride, I think yeah, at this stage, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, and just for context, so the audience is aware that uh, <laughs> that Blythe's strength is A. That Blythe's strength is uh, is maxed out. So, <laughs> so I think it's very easy, very easy for Blythe to support. Okay. So I get a piggyback style, and I I, I kind of mm -hmm. lean lean down a little bit, not super close, but close enough to go like, please don't tell anybody about this. Okay. Whitney Houston starts playing. <laughs> 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 I think it's also funny because to me Blythe is like a very like rail thin six foot tall person so yeah. they don't look like they don't look like they have that strength they're like designed very much to not look <laughs> as strong as they are right but but like picture like the skeleton of a terminator that's what you are yes like, exactly <laughs> you know you just you pick me up like I'm nothing like holy shit 
I think I might even say that. Holy shit. I think I think you become acutely aware of how easily I could snap your neck in this moment. <laughs> But, and I, I, I probably say like, oh, I'm glad you're on my side. Me too. All right. <laughs> so we piggyback. I, I know. I know. It seems so weird. But, but tactically, if it's faster, yeah. I won't. Yeah. I won't get tired. Yeah. Or, or yeah. Uh, Blythe won't get tired, and then I won't get tired from doing all the, you know, climbing. So like, mm, yeah. I'll be fresh as a daisy. Both we both will by the time we get up there. So it'll be great. It's efficient, exactly. Agreed. 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 <laughs> All right. Can we just fast yep, forward? Yes. 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 Okay. So you're here. I actually would like two rolls. So one you of you got some piggyback music to play, PB. I did play some piggyback music. I know. I heard it. Um. But I do have two rolls. I need you I to make. I was being facetious. Mm, I'm not. Roll me <laughs> stealth. <laughs> Are we both rolling stealth? One of you is rolling stealth and one of you is rolling observation. Choose wisely. Okay. Blythe. Blythe is is probably probably stealthier than they are observant if you want to take observation. Okay. Alright. Observation I got one success on is observation. a one. Let me put this up here and for y'all. Oh. You cannot see that. Please hold. I'm on it. I'm on it, chat. I'm on it. Oh, no. I'm going to push that because I would definitely do that. Yikes. Yikes. You can push again if you like. Um. Sure. This seems important. Okay. Wow. There we go. Okay. Totally worth it. All right. Don't forget. Take uh, two resolve off. I have. Okay. Ooh, okay, so that is a three for those listening. So the stealth succeeded. Okay, and we got Skiff rolling a one with the observation. Okay, you so... You know, mm -hmm. I, just real quick, thinking yeah. about this, like, thinking about, like, the original Blade Runner movie, this is absolutely something Harrison Ford would yeah, do. Yeah, a thousand percent. I could absolutely see him, like, like, with this, you know, like, uncomfortable face, like, <laughs> getting a piggyback. <laughs> it's so good, too, because it's, like... The original film does such a good job of of feeling like futuristic, but also still very rooted in the 80s. So the fact that you guys yeah. are using like a grappling hook is just the best to me. Um, OK, so stealth was good and observation was good. I'm going to save the observation for later. Stealth, reasonably speaking, you guys get up there. No one has seen you climbing up, you know, these very uh, sometimes very obvious open window. No one has seen you. You haven't seen anybody or perhaps even we've seen you climbing up the windows and pausing and waiting and like, you know, kind of before you continue up uh, for somebody to pass by and walk by. But either way, uh, Blythe has done an excellent job carrying you up here in a way in which you were not noticed. Uh, and I will give you your observation later. Okay. Uh, as soon as we get up to our target location, mm -hmm. um, I uh, unzip the bag and I, I hop off and I, I, you know, holding the rope, I unzip the bag, I grab out um, a little like, I don't know, just like a rectangular device. And as soon as like I kind of just like a key card, I kind of just pass it over the window mm -hmm. and you hear like a <laughs> and like the sliding metal just goes out and then up. And if you all remember, these are the items that he specifically requisitioned in a previous episode. So he only has on him what he requisitioned in that episode. Yep. Clever planning pays off. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> all right. Now you are in, you said, right? You use this ability to get in and now you are looking for someone, which is what your mm -hmm. observation can be used for. You can clock somebody um, if you'd like, okay. or you can just describe what you're seeing right now. And it can be because of your success, whether it is busy or whether it is not that busy. Okay. Uh, I think I think we lights up on a dark uh, meeting room. Like this is where nice. you would see like a, a, a board in the back, some, some chairs around a bigger table, uh, you know, uh, like wooden wooden slats that you can sort of see through um, uh, boxing the room in 
Um, windows, obviously the window we came through. Um, it's completely pitch dark. I mean, with the moonlight, whatever, shining through the window. Um, and we hop down and I, I grab the bag and uh, I, I look to Blythe and I go, okay. Around this floor is where we'll find, hopefully, if we can, some place where the credentials of people are kept or someone on the later shift that we can subdue and grab their credentials. Now, if we can subdue them non-lethally, if we must, only if we must, we resort to other things. Is that all right with you? Yes, that's fine. Okay. From here on, And I start, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing like the, do, 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 like the Hamburglar or anything like that, but I'm, you know, yeah. sneaking along, listening, uh, periodically stopping, looking at Blythe and pointing to my ear, you know, do you hear anything? I just shake my head. Okay. And then, uh... I hear a door opening and then uh, 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 a hand dryer, like getting done drying. And I, a signal for both of us, like we like get behind like, uh, like a desk, like a reception-ish kind of a desk. You kind of duck behind to see who has just come out of the bathroom. And we see somebody, I think. Yes, yes. Um, can you make sure that we are not, um, can you put that in the <gasps> back room? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is she talking to someone that we can see or is she on, the, on a, a KIA or something? Let's find out. What are are you speaking to somebody, or are you on? I was just uh, talking to somebody across the hallway, making sure that uh, they were taken care of. So I'm going into this room here, um, and I. Uh, what am I seeing? Exactly. What is the room that you are in, Zeke? It was like a conference room, right? But it's empty. That's when we were in. We have since right. left. Okay, so they left and reached like the the reception a uh, desk where the elevators. And the bathrooms would be. Okay. Okay. Hello? Was in here? Oh. Hello? Oh, we weren't talking. Yeah, I don't were... know if you know that they're here. Oh. Their stealth was a three. Oh, okay. So if you want, oh. yeah, we can roll something, but they're, it's a three. So I I, I just oh, no, assume not, since you're I'm not, not on the lookout. To, yet. Not, I will not beat three. That is not going to happen. <laughs> um, so I, I walk in. Um, and I was talking to somebody in the hallway, so, uh, I am going to sit down and grab my uh, device here and I'm going to start, uh, checking my messages. Now, when I look at whoever this is, do they have their, like, a badge credentials, like, hanging out? Or is it something that they keep, like, in a wallet or a purse or something? You would, I would have lanyard, so you would see on my, okay. uh, on my chest. I would also have badge. Okay. All right. And it it, it I, is it would be uh like a badge equivalent to the floor that you need. She does have access to R and D and all of that. Okay. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. And I I that lean I really close to Blythe. Okay. This one? Yes. She has the right credentials, but I need to know. 
Let's just say, on a scale of one to ten, how confident are you that you can subdue her silently without killing her? One hundred percent. Excellent. Assuming I get to use my three anyway, but... <laughs> well, that's for stealth, but you need your actual, like, physical takedown, right? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, I... So, I think... I think... If I can describe how I approach mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this Absolutely. character... Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, that I spring into action, like, almost like a spider, like, crawling across the ground, like, way too quick <laughs> for, a hu like, a humanoid. And just kind of spring up behind this person. Blythe has martial artist, which means I get advantage on any hand-to-hand -hand attack. Yeah, that's, it's disgusting. So yep, yeah, go on. Um, go ahead and roll that. And then let me grab, while you're doing that actually, let me make sure we've got a sheet um, for our lovely worker here. Oh no, I know exactly mm -hmm. what I'm gonna do and it makes me an asshole, but I'm duplicating Natalie's sheet. <laughs> uh, okay. Like, can't, can't escape. <laughs> you make me play with Sawyer, then you do her sheet. How oh. dare you? <laughs> I did say before, I was like, audience is going to get whiplash seeing my uh, yeah, face again yeah, so soon. <laughs> yeah. I saw a couple comments as well being like, all I can hear is Sawyer. And I was like, well, we tried. We waited as long as possible. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Right. So let me... Yeah, you go ahead and roll that. I know that chat can't see it yet, but that's okay, because I'm grabbing this sheet here. Uh, what did you get? Do you mind? Uh... I got a four. Wrong one. So I rolled the triple crit. Oh, geez. Okay, holy shit. Um... And the special attack that I'm using is is uh, to pin or clinch the opponent rather than to Grapple. do damage, of course. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, so give me one second. I am still, I would still like... Uh, there to be an option. Um, so here, Spath, I'm going to give you access to the sheet here. There you are. Okay. You should see it now. It does have Nat's <laughs> picture on it, but I'll remove that in a second. Um, but yeah, mm -hmm. you should have some abilities there to... Well, this isn't going to go well, but it would be a hand-to-hand -hand roll. <laughs> so, but if you want, I, I still think you should roll it just in case something crazy happens. I mean, I don't okay. even know if it's possible to beat okay. it, but yeah. Uh, hey, BB, because yeah. that way you can move my camera Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was looking at the sheet. Yes, 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 okay. yes. I'm on it. I'm on it so okay. fast. There you okay. go. Okay, hand-to-hand. Here you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Easy, easy, so easy. Thank you. Oof. <laughs> not terrible not terrible what was it i can't uh, see it unfortunately it, uh, it was one it was one okay so that's not too bad then so it cancels out the one would you roll the blithe rolled a three right four a four, four. Oh, okay four. so it's still three above <laughs> so i'd say that this happens exactly the way that that, that that's supposed to happen so um yeah uh, why don't uh why don't you go ahead and describe what we see <laughs> yeah so again i'm crawling like like sprung up on hands and feet across the floor and then slide across on my knees like just past her peripheral vision and as she turns her head i spring up behind her and clap a hand over her mouth and pin her against the chair um and there's there's a gentle pressure on the throat and i say hello new friend please don't scream don't scream don't talk and i get up out, fr out from behind the desk, and I walk over to her. I'm truly sorry about this. And I reach over and, like, kind of pop the lanyard off of the... or pop the, the badge off the lanyard. We need this. And as you can tell, my friend is very strong and you're not getting away. So what we're going to do, we're just going to put you down for a little nap. Oh, 
so hey. sorry to interrupt. You probably would need her. We know this from the previous episode oh. that you'll need her eyeball right. or, or like oh, you'll right, need right, her right, to right, come right, with right. you probably. I was wondering I'm sorry. the yep. mechanic of because we need Elspeth in the show. Oh yeah, yeah. well it's and then it wasn't even that. It's just that we Got learned it. that yeah. in a previous episode. Okay. We established that uh, mm. you're gonna need her eyeball okay. to get into R and D and and that right. flooring. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. I snap the snap the thing off. I need this. And and I point to her eyeballs. And we need those. <laughs> And wait, I'm not a cruel man. I'm offering you a chance to keep them in your head. <laughs> but you have to do everything we say because we are fully willing. And I, I, I show her the bag, the duffel bag, and capable of using them without your permission. We don't want to do that. You don't want that, do you? Shake your head if you agree. Right. Okay, you don't want that either. Okay. Okay. So, you are going to do everything we say, yes? Good. Good. Now, my friend is going to take his hand off of your mouth. And you're going to tell me your name and your name only. Okay? Shake your head if you understand. They're not. There you go. Okay. And I look at Blythe. And I very gently take my hand off off your mouth, but there's still an arm around your around your clavicle. <sighs> You just name? Nah, my name. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> it's Marcia. 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 <laughs> thank you. And thank you ahead of time for your though, cooperation. Please? I think I very gently help you to your feet at this stage. <sighs> I'm sorry for all the scare tactics, but we are obviously in a situation where fear is necessary for compliance. And I don't, I honestly don't want anything to happen to you. You're not what we're here for. Okay. But I also want to impress upon you that you are also not necessary to what we want here. So keep that in mind if you think about Screaming or resisting. Okay? Okay. Now. We're going to go to the... Um, I'm guessing, like, the reception would have... Like, uh, some sort of security... Access terminal. Something like that. Mm -hmm. So I go over to that. I take the badge. And I swipe it past and then uh, you know the thing to opens up the, the, the way the wrong way you're, it's the wrong, it's the wrong oh. way I flip it around thank you and then a thing a terminal or the a, a door like slides open and like these this you know goggle thing like half goggle thing comes up and now Marcia your turn. My my turn for what? Just look in the scope. That's all you want me to do is just look. He's just looking. You're not going well, to take my eyeballs. Unfortunately, that's unfortunately that's only the first step. But but you're not you're going, going to take my eyeballs if I look into this. You, if I help you, you'll you'll, <sighs> you'll you'll let me have my eyeballs. If you continue to help us, I guarantee. I can, I can keep them. Okay. No okay. harm will come to you. Okay, and I, uh, I, 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 I crouch and I look in and, um, is that all you need me to do is just look in? That's it for now. Okay. And I let it scan. All okay. good. 
I um, look through all the options and I find the door where uh, they are stationed and I, you know, press that one to open it. Okay. Painless, right? Step one done. However, we're going to have to we're going to need your services for just a little bit longer, and then we'll leave you alone to get back to your life. Okay? Oh. Thank you, Marcia. Okay. 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 What? What? what <laughs> and I want to. Uh, I want to roll. Um, I guess manipulation. Yep. To soothe her. To to so she believes what I'm saying. Okay. So then, what we'll do is we're going to be doing. <laughs> Oh, yep. I was going to say we're going to be doing two rolls. So then, Speth, on your sheet, you will also roll uh, manipulation. It's going to be counter. Now, uh, when we do the, mm -hmm. the opposing rolls, do you want me to push before the op opposition roll? Or do you want to, like, she rolls, or I roll, she rolls, I roll, she rolls if we push? No, no. If you're going to push, go ahead and push now. Okay, yep. I will. Yep, yep. The okay. person that is uh, defending in any situation does not get to push. That's only for hand-to-hand -hand combat, right? It's only for physical combat, not for manipulation? Uh, I, do, I think it's... Uh, I'm not sure. I thought it was only for physical. Um, but yes, if that's the case, then uh, we will just do... We'll just say that defender does not get to push. Um, okay, wow. So this is a tie, though. All right, so what happens, mm. do you think? What happens in a tie with, like, combat? Well, you both manage to get a hit in, usually, or it cancels each other out. So I'd say right. you probably try to reassure her, but, for you know, she doesn't trust you. Right, yeah. but that's a fail, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but you, she rolled a two as well, and so did you. So no, they, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but so like, they would cancel each other out. An offset of, mm -hmm. of something like this, mm -hmm. like, I get it if we're punching each other and both miss. Yeah, yeah. But a manipulation, if if it doesn't land home, it, it's a failure. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Does that make any sense? Yeah, it does. Um... I don't know. I guess we'll just improv it out. We'll see what happens. I'll just leave it okay. to you guys to decide. It's as if we didn't roll. Yep. Are you comforted, Elspeth? I hope. <laughs> I'm really we'll trying. Find out. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will well, what say. What do you say did to you comfort uh... her? Yeah. What do you say? No, no. Sorry. The, Sorry. the tone like... of my voice. Oh, I yeah, yeah. believe okay. that if she cooperates, she'll get out of this fine. Oh, okay. So I guess just take take how I'm acting. And then I guess go from there. <laughs> All right. Anyways. <clears throat> okay. So the next step, Marcia, is, uh, and I point to like, uh, there's in front of the re reception or uh, on the side or somewhere is like a, a, a couch for people who want to wait. It's like a nice, I'm picturing like a nice white leather couch with like metal bars and you know very like art deco kind of a couch for people to wait uh to be called for whatever they need my friend is going to sit next to you on that couch while we wait for our other friends to come and he's going to keep his hands off of your mouth because we're gonna try and build some trust here now remember you make a sound louder than a whisper, there will be consequences. And we don't want any consequences, either of us. I certainly don't, and I'm sure you don't. Okay? Friend, please escort her to the couch. I gently take you over to the couch with just a hand on your shoulder at this stage. There's no physical force involved, and just very gently to set you down, and then wordlessly, without asking, I get you a cup of water from a water cooler and <laughs> hand it to you and sit down next to you. Thank, thank you. And I, at the terminal, I send the elevators 
down to the to the floor where I open the door and have them uh, open and waiting for them to use them and come up. Hello, this is us. This is Marcia. She's helping us tonight. And we've already gone over the rules of our engagement. Our what arrangements. Rules? The rules are she helps, she lives. Simple as that. I cast an eye to Bob when he says this. Yeah, I give you the same look. <laughs> and then but you see me shake my head slightly i'm trying to make sure that marcia doesn't see it but i go all right you see me roll my eyes for a quarter of a second and i go all right okay okay she's on you we have to go three more floors up and that's where we will find what we're looking for. So Nara gave you a range. She gave you three floors to look between, and then RJ was previously on at least one of those floors. So... Okay. Now, RJ, you said you've been here before. Yeah. Once or twice. What I'm looking for is a room with what looks like a bunch of computers uh, for analysis, data analysis room. Probably something with higher security because this is one thing that, that uh, this company does not want anyone to know or get out. Are you familiar with the room I'm talking about? Unfortunately, you might have to specify. This is Tyrell. Most of these floors are just that. R&D. Computers. Okay. I, I... She didn't give me an exact floor. She said one of these three. So, that might mean we have to explore each room one by one, or we split up. I don't recommend splitting up, but if you have a good argument for it, I'm, I'm willing to hear it. I haven't known just yet. It's faster. It could be. It's much faster. But we can't communicate. And we don't have... We have only one Marcia. And I look at her again. If you can... If we can go together and get to the first floor, it'll take some time to search. Okay. You have equipment well, for that. I, I, I'm, I've totally forgotten. And I look back at Marcia again. Marcia? The floor we're looking for is one that's going to have high security. Yeah, yes. It's going to have a lot of computers in it. Yes. And it's going to be filled with scientists more often than not. And these scientists are specialists. They know a lot about replicants and the design thereof. What floor would I be looking for? Uh, you, you, you would be looking for, um, um, f- uh, f- 42. Okay. I think as Skiff is asking politely this question, I walk up to both of them. Skiff mentioned how we have one of her I think I look at her the same way I looked at Skiff before. Then I look back at him and I say, well, in all actuality, we have two keys. And I point towards her face. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. And I just I instinctively cover my eyeballs like this, like, oh God. Don't look at them. We don't have to do that, right? Please, please let me keep my eyeballs. 
Earn them. You're sure it's floor 42? Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 I'm sure. I'm, I'm going I'm to, uh... Pat you on the shoulder. <laughs> I'm going to move towards, um, uh, towards, uh, this person. Uh, did, I'm sorry, did you, did you introduce yourself to the group yet? I did. Oh, okay. I said this uh, is Marcia. Yeah. Uh, I will, uh, make my way to Marcia and, uh... And I'll say, Marcia, you're gonna make, you're gonna make it out of this all right. Okay. You understand? We're not here for you. We're here to do a job. We're here for information. Okay. Okay. We don't want to hurt anyone. But we will if we have to. <coughs> okay. And I look around. Um, do, do, do you need something from me right now? No, just to, just to accompany wait on? us. I, 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 if you need my eyeballs right now, I, I, I can lo look into something. Um, stand up. I stand. Hold my friend's hand. I gesture to Blythe. And come with us. And I start walking towards the elevator. Okay. Um. So you have... She has... Uh, taking you to floor 42. Is that where you're going? Yep. Okay. Uh, the Let's uh, roll stealth. One person in the group is going to roll stealth. Just to see if anything gets picked up it. on the cameras. Yep. I'll push that. Zero. I'm going to uh, re-roll both. It's one success. Okay. Please continue. You, All right. The door opens. You are now on <clears throat> floor 42. We can assume that there is um, an egregious amount of uh, security, actually, when you get to floor 42. Like, the lighting changes as you are now entering into some really high secure, not just uh, technical labs, but also um, informational labs as well, where um, we know that they were having secure uh, projects where the people even working on them could not leave the area. So remember, Tyrell is this massive building, again, that's five story, 500 stories tall, but also the floors are exceptionally large. Um, so floor 42 is going to have like whole football field size uh, projects, maybe like four or five of those broken up into sections. So you're going to have to choose who's going where. Or if you're all going together, which is also fine. RJ. Is this familiar? I look around. Where we've entered from, mm -hmm. is that similar to where we were before? Again, you mentioned how large these floors are. I think, well, okay, let's roll. Because I, f I wanted to give it to you and just say, yeah, but like, you're right. The floors are massively large and every floor is essentially going to look the same. So um, why don't we go ahead and roll observation? It's the best kind of memory recall I can give you at the moment. I go to two. Okay, yeah, then yeah. Oh yeah, but you'd also memorize the blueprints as well. So yeah, you recognize this could be, I mean, assuming they're going for the data that you're going for, it, it, it very well could be on this floor for sure. Um, if they're not going for the data that you were going for, then it, 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 it could be this floor, or maybe a floor around here. It looks similar enough though, but these are the high lockdown experimental areas. It's as good enough as any. I'm not sure exactly what it is you're looking for, but yeah, if it's going to be anywhere, this is a good start. 
Well, Skiff, follow your lead. Because I don't... I'm not even sure what I'm looking for. Other than the truth. So... <clears throat> I pull out my KIA. And I, uh... Pull up the, the, the floor schematic. Of... Because he said it was on three floors. So I have three of them. And I, I go to floor 42. And, uh pull up a rough schematic of it and I, and I point to areas like okay Bob and RJ yeah. you go this way okay uh, Galen and I we go this way and our oh shit <laughs> I was using your names I was trying to I, was, I did so well up to this point <laughs> not using anybody's real name um, and Honestly, then I, it's probably fine at this point. Yeah, yeah. And then I say, "All right," and uh, Blythe. Did, did you just say me and Arch, Bob, and myself? Yes, two two pairs of two. Is that not pairs of two? Do, do we want to split up more than that? I'm going to go with Bob. I need to see him through this. Okay. It might be for the best, as loath as I am to admit it, if Bob is enough like me, there's no need having two of me in one place. Very well. Then you're with me. And, uh, Blythe? Yes? Entertain our guest, but not too okay. loud, please. Okay. All right, let's roll 1d3. Zeke, you do it for me. Roll 1d3, yep. got it. Perfect, we're starting with Skiff. That was the order, right? Yep, you said me and RJ. Yep. Right, Skiff and RJ. Okay, let's do it. Yep. All right, so... <clears throat> We've, we've pointed off our sections. Now RJ and I are... That's right. Okay, now, you're going to... What we're going to do is we're going to roll observation and stealth again in our pairs of two. One okay. and one. Uh, did we lose... Did we lose RJ as well? Or is no, he I'm here? here. Oh, okay, okay. I wasn't sure. Sorry. Okay. Um, so observation, was that you from before? RJ? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So one before. of you choose stealth yeah. and one of you choose observation into each floor essentially is what we're gonna do. I gotta see them both, so. I have a D in observation and a D in stealth, so. Okay. Well then I'll I'll do observation. I'll go stealth. Two? And a one. Are you rolling with advantage on purpose? No. How do I? It still would have, it, it's fine. It still would have been a one because of the, the, right. the nine is in the two spot. But yeah, just be aware. Uh, it's on the very top of the sheet. Uh, it'll say advantage, disadvantage, and the like. Do you see that up there? I fixed it. Okay, yes, perfect. Thanks. All right. Uh, no need to no need to re-roll. Um, so that was a one and a two. Okay. So, um, Skiff, why don't you describe what your, you know, I, I don't think we've ever seen you doing like a search mission before. So why don't you describe kind of what that looks like for us or what your metho methodology would be to kind of like find the information that you're looking for. Let's cop um, mode. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm, I'm looking for, uh, I mean, forgive me, but I'm looking for nerd stuff like like stuff that would give you away as being someone who is highly intelligent, highly uh, uh, trained, something like like uh, uh, <laughs> one of those one of those cups that have like a a joke about uh, the periodic table on it or something like that. Okay. Um. So you rolled you rolled an observation too. So hmm. And you have RJ with you. 
So I'm going to say that RJ can guide you through the hallway in the room. And like I said, these whole kind of, let's think of it like you've got this huge uh, concrete floor, like open warehouse, but then inside this warehouse of a floor, you've got football size field concrete buildings inside that you would then need to get into that has houses the experiment. So whether okay. the experiment's going to be a bunch of computer rooms and data and then the living quarters that we had you guys living in in a previous situation or what have you, but it's all inside its own little space contained on this floor. So let's just now, say there are five. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just just to retcon something real yeah, quick. Yeah, sure. If, if, if possible, mm -hmm. to get into this floor from the elevators yes we had to use a retinal scan yes that That's, is correct that is correct so if if i thought we needed her again i would have brought her with but i'm assuming that's would explain why we don't need her now yes that is correct okay. yep okay so you needed just to get even onto this floor and basically nobody okay. on this floor has permission to leave right because okay. all the experiments are in here so it doesn't really matter um, I, I would probably say that each little football field has its own little like um, security, but let's just say that it's uh, it's something that can be bypassed with the badge technology that you have and a finger passcode. You don't need the retinal scan to get into these little football um, size uh, things because otherwise RJ wouldn't have been able to get in in the previous episode. Okay. So, okay. So let's say that there are five of these to choose from, and this may not seem like it's important, but it is important. Um, so I'm going to need you to pick a number one through five. I need to know which building you're going into. Which of these little football size field containers? On three, Zeke. Okay. One, two, three. One. <laughs> one. <laughs> okay, so you well, well, we'll say where you rolled observation, so we'll go into the first one. Two it is, okay. yeah, okay, no. Two it is, yeah, um, center, yeah. yeah. We could do it, we'll do it right in the center then. Two it is. Um, so you'll go ahead and okay, head into fine. that building. Um, and your observation is a two, which is a, a critical success. Um, so we're going to say that you find a lot of information that is unfortunately not exactly what you're looking for. But do you know exactly what you're looking for from Nara? She told you to grab... A, no, but I twigged yeah. on it from... Yep. Uh, from Bob telling me he's a replicant. That's right. Okay, so you are very specifically looking for any information related to this. To the LAPD. Thing. Yep, to the LAPD. Okay, that's what I needed to know. So you, yeah. I would love for you to role play out looking through here, but ultimately you do not find what you're looking for um, okay. here in this spot. But I'd love for you okay. two to have a scene together. Okay. Um, I would. Uh, I would like to know what sort of information am I finding in this that is not what I want? Like, what? Ooh, what is this yes, section mm -hmm, for? Mm -hmm. um, this section is going to be for information on replicant biology. Very specifically, like, how to... Replicant. Yes. How, how about replicant mm -hmm. skin synthesis? That's right. Skin synthesis, it can be, like... I mean, I'm sure you might even find data on the breaking point of the average replicant bone. You know, like the, it's it's everything about the biology in the gene genome that was being modified to make replicants. So you'll probably even find sections on like, because they have the mining out in space right now in the colonies as well. So right. you probably have what they manipulated in the genome to make them resistant to, you know, the, the chemicals out there or to make them, um, you know, a little bit... It, better suited for that environment. This is the type of information yep. that you're finding. I want to say that this location, this area we're in, even though it is pretty clinical because obviously it's a lab, it's a science place, uh, Skiff mentioned nerd stuff. I imagine that the people who work here are within the 99.9th .9 percentile for intelligence in the entirety of LA and beyond. But in this particular lab that we're in, I think what gives it away as to what they are uh, researching here, kind of similar to how like in a biology classroom you'd see like an anatomical statue or something or a model of like a person, bones, organs. Uh, you know how like uh, in some kitschy like uh, caf cafes and stuff, uh, you might sometimes have on the walls uh, like a living mold that's been kind of frozen, green tiles. I think in this, in this lab, maybe in the foyer area, maybe perhaps like, for some reason, 
There are no scientists here. Maybe it's break time. Maybe perhaps it's just not time for work. Maybe perhaps they're in another room, but in this area we're in, it almost, like, on the walls, I think, we don't clock it at first as to what it is, but they seem like picture frames, one a bit bigger, maybe perhaps like a large landscape, but it's not of anything in particular. It's, at first, I think we think it's like, a, you know, that pattern that cows have, like the dairy cows, that kind of thing, but on closer inspection, draped over these frames, our skin. And it's like, uh, one portrait's just like <clears throat> pale skin on the wall stretched. Another one, a large painting, is like, a, a it coalesces. It's almost a little bit like a vitiligo, almost a little bit like, uh, different people meshed into this frame as a testament to what they're doing here and designing on this floor. So you see me, like, looking at it, uh, looking around from piece to piece, and you see, I, I, I have a confused look on my face, and uh, I look to you and I go, I know this isn't what we're looking for, but what am I looking at? I think when he says this, I'm going to tear at one of the, uh, the portraits. As, as I do, I think it doesn't give way easy. It's replicant skin. However, pushing hard enough through the frame, it does tear. And you make out the different layers of dermis, albeit different at the same time. This is purpose-built for replicants who now live on the moon, resistant to things like radiation. And I think I recoil to this. I don't look disgusted, but my hand moves away from this strange sight. And then you see it heal. Almost like a plant growing in, like, a real time. It, or stop motion. Coalesces. Scars, and then heals. Whatever it is, I don't like it. That must be still in the... Experimental phase. I've never seen a... An injured replicant heal like that. I can't say I have healed like that either, but... Well, I mean, we're in the heart of it now, aren't we? Kind of beautiful. Kind of sick. Let's move on. I'm on your six. All right, we're gonna switch over. And we're going to switch to Blythe, actually. I'm curious as to what you two are doing. They gave you instruction to sit and watch and make sure that she didn't do anything, correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, so what? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I think I'm having small talk with her, to be honest, because they said entertain our guest. So I've taken it quite literally, and I, 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 was I have her, I have her, you know, I don't know if there's security cameras or anything like that, but I'm, I'm probably trying to be in the most out of clear line of sight <laughs> that I can be with her waiting for the others to come back. But yeah, just like, uh, and just, you have a very pretty name. Well, thank you. Uh, um, it's, uh. Uh, my, 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 uh, my grandmother was, um, her, her name was Marcia, too. What's that like, having family? Uh, um, uh, it's, if you can't replace it. Oh. I was told I can be replaced. I, and, uh, my hands are shaking. I recognize you. You're one of ours. Yes, Nexus 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, I knew somebody on the team 
that was um, part of your design. And this is I was have brown hair instead of blonde. And I remember oh. I, I was walking past the I, I was walking past the kitchen and I heard them joking about it. I, and I thought I was it was it was odd how why would it be funny? You know, why would they care about blonde or brown or red hair? Why would it matter? And I, and I thought, well, I guess it's so, so specific. So specific. I, I, and my hands are still shaking. I place one hand on top of your shaking hands and I look you in the eye and say, I don't like to hurt people. That's not what I'm made for, so I don't like to do it. I've only killed one person, and it was only because I had to. Oh. Oh, uh, well, I hope I don't give you reason to kill me. No, you seem very nice. I really don't want to have to hurt you. And all my friends, they are very serious and professional. So they want to scare you so you do a good job. Well, they'll probably do a pretty damn good job then. You're doing a very good job so far. Can I ask you something? Yes? Is it just this group, or are there more of you? More of me? How big is your... Is, 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 uh, how many are, are in the building? Is it just this group, or... Uh, I, I, I don't... I think it is just us. Oh, okay. We're here to be very... I'm sorry, I, I'm asking questions, I should just... <sighs> That's okay. When people are very nervous, they like to ask questions. Yes. It makes you feel like you're more in control of the situation. Yes. Um, so, um... Uh, is there anything you want to ask me? Anything What's your favorite color? Pink. Is pink. That's a good one. <laughs> what, what, uh, what? What's yours? Blue. Blue. That's my second choice. <laughs> ah. Hmm. It almost sounds sky, like blithe, but not quite. Or... <laughs> what? What shade of? And you can see my hands are still, still shaking, but I'm trying to make small talk. What shade of blue is your favorite? Mm, light blue, like the sky. I've seen pictures of it when it's not raining. And at this, I... I freeze. And I think back to when my friend said that his favorite color was also sky blue, and he was also part of the design team, and... I... I think I know why that is. Oh? I had a friend who... who passed. But his favorite color was also the color of the sky. On very clear day. Like cobalt. He said mm. one of his favorite places was California. He loved California. Said it was so blue. He'd never seen such blue sky. I thought, okay, California, what's so special? But... 
he never went anywhere else. He was, he was, he was imagining it like it was blue. He was thinking of it like it used to be, you know? <laughs> I'm babbling. I'm sorry. Anyway, That's he, okay. worked on, um, he worked on your design. And I, and I actually, I grab her hand a bit tighter. And I think that's very special. I think you're very special. And the fact that all you want to do is comfort me here. Thank you for that. I don't want to lose my life. I love my family. I would do anything that they say. Marcia, I promise I'm not going to hurt you. Thank you. Thank you for calling me special. Mm. Uh, can I have some more water? Is, is that okay? I nod and I go to the water cooler to get you another cup of water. Okay. Whichever one I can find. <laughs> do you do anything while Blythe is getting you some water? I, uh, no. Okay. No. Yeah. Absolutely not. Okay. I look around in the room. Um, I know where there are um, a couple, couple cameras, but I'm not even, I, I, I would not je uh, jeopardize the rest of uh, the team upstairs. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. All I right would then. not want anything bad to happen. Okay. We're going to switch scenes. you two to pick a number one through five, but you can't pick two. Five. Sure. Five is good. All right. Five it is. I need somebody to roll stealth and the other to roll observation. Um, I've got a C in both, so if you've got anything higher I've in... I've got a I'd B in both. Yeah. <laughs> I'll okay, do... Uh, uh, yeah. I'll do... Uh, I guess I'll do stealth. Yeah, I was going to say, you do stealth. Okay. It's um, a three successes for me. I'm going to push that three. I have one success right now. Okay. I am going to push that three. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. You exact can push same it. roll. It's the exact same roll. You can push again <laughs> if you like. How am I looking? No, we'll keep it at one. Okay. Uh, when you walk into this warehouse, it's very dimly lit. Uh, there are about three different rows of tables, and they go all the way down the warehouse. And there are about six foot long individuals underneath sheets. Looks like there are a bunch of bodies in here. Do you leave or do you stay? Stay for a minute. Um, I think I look over at Galen. Same. Org? Maybe. All right. Um, Could be some kind of an assembly line. I look around for equipment. Um, right. I think that I'm looking for monitoring devices, like if it were a hospital or something. Okay. Or, yeah. All right. Go ahead, and now both of you roll observation for me, please.
Well, that's a zero. Okay. I'm not going to push that. All right. Also oh a zero. Oh, my God. <laughs> also a zero. Um, okay, so I'm going to interpret this in a, a very particular way. So you do not... Um, you do not find any medical equipment per se that you were looking for. It just, again, it's super dimly lit. And it seems to be row after row, um, but there are tags. It's very clear after a moment of walking through here quietly, we can hear your footsteps reverberating um, and you can see tags on the toes of these people or these bodies that are in here. Um, would you like to look at the tags or anything? Or would you like to leave? Um, I'll do it. Yeah. Okay. I, I think I'm definitely hesitant looking. Um, things are feeling real right now. So I, I think I'll step back and let Galen go in and look. Okay. Um, Galen, roll me a 1d3. Two. Uh, you see a... Uh, you see a tag that says K Nakamura or Nakayama, excuse me. Gonna pull back the sheet. Uh, you do see um, what appears to be Dr. Kano Nakayama, and it looks like he's been shot twice in the chest and his eyes were removed. Nakayama. I'm gonna start look at looking at the nearby toe tags. Um, I want you to roll me a one d two. Two. I'm going to DM you. It has this date on it. Um, after I've pulled the sheet back for Nakayama, I'm a, I'm a little s- surprised, and uh, I I would say, oh, what the hell? It's Nakayama. And then I and then I immediately start to look at the nearby <sighs> tables and toe tags. I look at the next toe tag and you see my expression just drop out. I go a little still. Galen. What is it? I'm over at Nakayama's body. Uh, I think I've leaned over it uh, and just observe the the damage to this body, trying to put together, as a detective does, what has happened to this n- known fairly prominent individual that we have uh, investigated to some degree. Uh, but I look up and I, do, I look over at uh, Galen and I have started to move in that direction. You okay? Yeah. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. What doesn't? Um, and I, I have... I'm looking at him, but I have moved over to a different ta- uh, different table, trying to figure out. But I I will stop, and I'll look down at the tack that's in front of me. I don't say anything. I let the tag go, and I walk over to Galen to see why he is stopped. My body language is pretty tense as I walk towards you. Uh, I hold up a hand. T- 
talk to me. I look at I look at you in the eyes. And then I look down to the sheet. And I pull the sheet back. You see yourself there, Bob, burned and blackened. There's jagged cuts as if glass had torn into your skin. I, uh, I'm looking at it from a little bit of a distance. It's funny how you don't recognize yourself. Wonder what he went through. Wait a minute. Pull the toe tag. Of course. I, I dangle it in front of you. I walk back to the table that I'm at, or that I was at. Then you have to know what this means, Galen. I start rushing around to the tables and I start pulling the sheets back. It's this one, Galen. Stop. (laughs) Uh. Come here. sorry there's nothing I can say other than you're you just like you told me you're you it doesn't matter when it started it doesn't matter when it ended it's not your fault fall back on my on my heels fall down to the ground I am I've moved closer to him slowly And at this point, I have crouched down in front of him. And my arms are sort of hanging, you know, between my legs. I'm just watching him for a second. Um, I guess it makes sense, doesn't it? How do we get out of there? But I need you to think like a detective, okay? Because what this means is they had us ready. I don't know if they had an RJ ready. Whatever, whatever the program it is that they're running, whatever secret bullshit that they're running, they've advanced it. They, it looks like they have continually built upon it. This is awful, and I'm sorry. But this is good information. And I need your help still. But you're not alone. You've got a friend who knows exactly what you're going through. I look at the necklace that he he took off. 
take my glasses and the necklace that I had around my neck into my hands for a moment, I look at them. They weren't real. No. No. But you are. But no, they're... It's bullshit. It's all lies. They don't belong to me. I don't know if they do or don't. They're in you. They're yours. And until you die, they can't be taken. Even if they can be given. They're yours. They're not mine anymore. I place the glasses and the necklace down on my body. I look up to you, Bob, and I... And I... I search your face to see if I can find... purpose. As if your face has my purpose. You see determination and drive. You see the same thing that you saw every day when you got to work. If you have purpose in my face, then it's one you're going to have to figure out. Because all you see when you see Bob is acceptance. But there's no judgment. My tears have stopped. My body language is different. I stand up. What do you want to find here, Bob? I want to know how many there are. I want to know what they're doing. I need to know why I exist. Whatever path, plan, project that created me, I need to find it. Because I honestly don't even know why. It doesn't matter. We'll go together. I don't move. I stand there for a second. I walk up to him. Put my hand out. Partners. Partners. Got your back. You won't find your answers here. We need to keep looking. Yeah, I look around at the bodies. Yeah. Okay. 
and then uh, turn towards the the entrance that we came in to this one little partition. Start walking towards it. What's going on? Was that you? We heard it from down the hall. It's okay. It's okay. What's going on? We ran all the way here. I... I glance backwards at the, uh, the sort of opening, and I look back and I go, remember... When the spinner crashed. And then I sort of move, and what dim light you can see, you can see a row of tables with what seems to be bodies and sheets on them behind me. When? When spinner crashed, when? Right after we first talked to Sawyer, you and Selma had gone in. Do you remember? He wasn't yes, there. Yes, 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 I remember. I was on my way out and then got pulled back in. Yes. Our spinner crashed, if you remember. Yeah, but you... You were all... Okay. No. Didn't know. I look over at Galen. Didn't know. There's no way anyone could have walked away from that. And you didn't, did you? No. You're right. No one could walk away from that. Well, I don't mean to be the fucking hard ass here, but we got a job to do, so let's do it. We all have yeah. shit we have to rectify. Where have you guys looked? We got back from what looks like building two. Building two bioengineering. They're making. They're making. Uh, super healing replicant skin. But it's not the what we're looking for. And we have dead bodies here in building five. But this might be what we're looking for. Might not even be. We don't even need information. We just need proof. Those bodies in there. Because that proves that they've infiltrated the NYPD or the LAPD. You got Doesn't cameras it? on you. I mm. think that we can keep searching. We can keep searching. We can use the the data stick that I have and find the right room. But if we take one of these, or forgive me, part of this these bodies, these are proof right here, solid evidence. That Tyrell has infiltrated the LAPD. We'll keep looking, I, but this is a good backup, at least for something, just so we're not empty-handed. Okay. Doctoring a picture is easy enough, but does nobody have a camera? I do. I have my KA, the one that Nara gave me. I can send a picture right to her. You want me to do that now? If you can communicate through this, if you can get that there and ask if that's enough. Fuck, I didn't even think about that. And I check my KIA to see if I, uh, do I have like an outside line, so to speak? Yes, absolutely. Yep. It might be worth it to wait just in case your signal's intercepted, if that's something they can do. Well, I'll take the pictures now then. And I, 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 I walk in there and I stop and I look back at Galen and Bob. 
with your permission. That's not me. Go ahead. That is not me. Okay. I walk in there. I I walk over to Galen. This isn't enough for me. Then we keep looking. Okay. We don't have too much time left. I want to go to building one. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll observation for me. Sorry, Wax, performance fucked me up a little. Uh, I rolled a two. Okay. Um, building one, uh, will be the experimental room or a replica experimental room of the one that RJ infiltrated in the uh, previous episode. So it's actually a replica um, where they had basically two sets of people running the experiment, but they thought they were the only people running the experiment. So this is not the room that RJ infiltrated before, but it is an, ex- you know, it's mirrored. It's an exact exact replica of it. So. Um, you can find the information that you're looking for here, but one of you is going to have to successfully do a tech roll to extract it. Reminds me of an old birthday party. I look around at anybody like... I this squint is at the RJ. One time. This is the one time. one time in the last however many days I wish we had Selma she could do this no problem wouldn't even break a sweat (laughs) I think I catch that look from Bob but he knows as well as I, I'm not cut out for this. Yeah, I do. We're not going to be able to do it. I speak for RJ. What about Blythe? Mm, no. What about Marcia? Yep. I'll go get her. Yeah. And I start walking back to the uh, the security checkpoint where hopefully her and Blythe are still there. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Speaking of checkpoint. Mm-hmm. How long has it been since we have appropriated Marcia? I was going to say 45 minutes to an hour um, because you were searching, but you're also quick. That seems about right to me. 45 minutes going on to an hour. And going off the fact that she has these credentials, these permissions, she's pretty high up or at the very least pretty trusted. That's correct. She wouldn't have to maybe perhaps phone in every now and then, would she? For them to know when she's on break or off break, where she is, or would I not know this? I mean, I think you assumed that. You did a lot of research on the Tyrell building and who you could use to infiltrate previously. I think that's a safe assumption. What do you think? Thea, do you think that you, do you think that you have to phone in? No. Okay. She, I'm pretty sure you work on two exclusive floors, right? The one above this one 
and then there's another one down below, and you caught her going in between the two of them. Right. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't leave the building otherwise is what I was going to finish with that. So she probably doesn't need to check in. Understood. So I, I go up there. Who do, do I see them in that place? Yeah. They're okay. there, sitting there. Marcia has a water. We need uh, you both to come with us. At the sight of yours, starts shaking again. Okay. This time, instead of touching you or manhandling you, I stand up and I just extend my hand, palm outwards to you, for you to take. And I take your hand. And I stand. And okay. I lead her after, after Skiff. Get this way. I lead her in. I take the data stick. And I grab her hand from underneath. And I put the data stick in her open palm. I need you to put what's on there on here. All of it. Okay. Okay. And then um, <clears throat> I uh, begin the process of doing that. Um, narrator, is there a uh, is way roll. I can do? Yep, just the, a tech roll. Okay. And uh, I will do, if it's cool with you, I will do an insight roll to make sure she's not tripping any shit. Yeah, absolutely. And getting people um, after us. You could also have advantage on this tech roll because this is your office. If you choose to have advantage, oh. like if you're actually uh, trying to make sure that they get all the data and you're doing what they ask, then you can have advantage. I am, yes. Yep. Okay, I figured. Well, yep. I, I did roll one, so it's um, something I'm okay with if you, uh, I, I can roll again if you need me to. Well, it's just but. with advantage means you get an extra uh, dice to roll. So we can just, I'll keep your eight, but just go ahead and roll again and I'll do the next two. Oh. There you go. That's, that's okay. okay. So I kept your eight, which means the next roll was a 12 and a four, which means you have a four. Okay. Um, You have no idea how important this was. This, this is all the information that they could have needed or wanted. You have put wow. on this stick for them. Okay. So, um... I, uh, I right. take I everything from this to, file to make and sure. I put this file. Um, and uh, it's uh, it's all it's all it's, it's encrypted, so you. Um, but here I'm shaking. I I hand it back to you. Is is that what you need? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You don't know how much. You've helped us today. I, uh, I know you, and I know you. I know both of you. I want to show I'm you happy something. happy to help. I want to show you something. Is, is, can I Follow me. Okay, okay. And I take her by myself. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, okay, um, okay. Don't worry, your job is done. I just need you okay, to see something. Is my job done, or it means... I just, I, one, I one last thing. I keep my life thing. right, you say, I keep my thing. eyeballs if I do my... Yes, if I do yes, my... you will. Okay. One last thing. And I take her into the room with, uh, with the uh, corpses. Okay. And I... I... Uh, put my arm around her shoulders and guide her with me, guide her in. And I tell her to look. This is what, this is what Tyrell is doing. To kick it, or the kicker. They didn't know. One of them until just today. Just now. This is what Tyrell is doing. And this is why we are here. 
This is why we're doing what we're doing. I just wanted you to see. I already knew. You can kill me if you want. But I'll... I'm sorry. I, 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 have, I have a family. Skiff. Yes. Let her go. <laughs> and I, I had my gun out and I put it away. moment on you're you and I'm me every choice that we make determines who we are let her go Okay, partner. And I walk out. I turn to a nearby trash can. <laughs> Marcia. Life is going to be different from today on. Yes. Don't waste it. I won't. I'm going to live for my for my family. Thank you for thank you for sparing me. And turn and walk away. As you do, and you turn the corner, Galen, you see Bob standing. You know he was, I was, within earshot of everything that just went down. You're you. And I'm me. And what we do with that, that matters. I have an idea, Galen. When she said that she downloaded everything, everything that we wanted, that's no purpose to have for life. It's the only thing I've been thinking about is getting in here. Now I don't even want to see any of it. We are what we were made to be. Maybe I can still be that. 
I need your help. But only if you want to give it. All right. <laughs> the APB that went out. It didn't mention me in the same vein as you, Skiff. Is this stupid, Galen? Could I do more from the inside? Could I get back in? How many of us are out there? And they have nobody. There's one way. There's one way that you could get back in, Bob. Yeah. I'm going to uh, reach in to your coat. Take out your gun. Put it in your hand. And then point it at my head. the gun back no no I think we can do this differently I'm not good with the technical side of things but judging by the stuff Skiff has Nara is I'm not going to kill you. I can't kill you. If that's your decision, then how are we going to get you back? I look at the gun again. And then I look at him really seriously. It'd have to be public. You know that, right? It would have to be a shell. If things were reversed, this is what I'd push for you. But it has to be your decision. The 
the only memories I have are pain. And even those memories don't belong to me. You can make new ones. I have. Hell, you have. <sighs> we'll talk about it. Let's get out of here. Overstater Don't tell welcome. Skiff. I won't. I give Galen a, a very big hug. About the closest thing to a brother I got. But we'll do right by the people, right? I'm sort of stiff as you hug. And I put my hands up and I and I hug you back. And I rest my head on your shoulder. Is this real? by the definition of whatever real is. I don't know. I hope not. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs>